so I hope you're all doing really, really well and you're enjoying the sunshine that we're having at the moment. Um, I thought I would do a video um, with all the stuff that I've recently purchased or I've got in the last two months. I haven't been on a much of a shopping spree uh, because I am currently trying to buy a car because I passed my test last week. A week today! Woohoo! So, um, so yeah, so uh, the spending has been very minimal, to be honest. So, um, this is the last two months. Um, yeah, two months. Some of them are gifts, um, and I will explain why they're gifts when I show you them. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to get started. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you my shoes, because, let's face it, they are a very, very important part of uh, anybody's wardrobe. So the first one I'm going to show you is they're really, really dirty because I've just been outside in them. And I live in a small holding and I was like, do I wash them? No. Um, yeah, I live on a small holding and it's very, very muddy. I've got horses, chickens, dogs, cats, all that kind of stuff. So it gets very, very muddy. So this is my Dr. Martens. Some people will probably look at my Dr. Martens and go, oh my God, what have you done to them? But yeah, um, they do the purpose. Um, I've, wanted, I've had a pair of Dr. Martens, um, well, I've always wanted a pair and then kind of hummed and ahed about it because they do do the vegan leather ones, which obviously I would buy, not the, which that's what these are. Um, but yeah, I was just like 90 quid, you know, or 100 quid, it's a lot of money. Um, and I bought a pair of jelly ones from a place called Treads in my local town and um, yeah they were re they're fantastic I can't knock them they're really easy to like clean because they're jelly ones but they're super comfortable I wear them for work because they don't hurt my feet I do have I do put an extra layer of um, it's like inner soles that skateboarders use because it like takes 90% of the impact of like any trauma that they could inflict on their feet but yeah I use them just in everyday stuff and they work just a treat and I absolutely love them if you guys are interested in them then just let me know when I find out or put links down below in comments and stuff but anyway these are my Dr Martins so because I got the other ones I wanted to get a new pair I wanted to get more like this um, and these were in their sale for £90 which I thought was very, very good considering like it is a Dr. Martin and they do last for a very, very long time because, um, excuse the mud, but um, instead of gluing it, they actually fuse, they, they heat it, the, the sole and the, the vegan leather. And I think they do this with the leather ones as well together and then they stitch it so there's no glue. Um, and then you have the 14 eyelets. I don't wear these as often as I thought I would, not because they're not any good, but because they do hurt me slightly on this area and I just need to stretch them out and I just haven't got round to it. Um, you will have to do that if you've got um, uh, leather ones, I've been told. I've never had a pair of leather ones and never intend to, so, but um, yeah, so those are the... Those are the Dr. Martins. I've got a zip to make it easier. And they're the 14 eyelet ones. And they were £90 um, on their website. Okay, so next ones. Um, these are my ASOS ones. I wanted a pair. I wanted more than one pair, actually. But um, I wanted a pair of shoes that I could wear during the day. But I'd still get that height. But I'm not wearing heels where it was going to hurt the arch of my foot. So um, I found these on ASOS. These are a size 8 because I couldn't get a size 7. They are a little, little big, but I can live with it. Um, they've got the old style English. I don't know what the name of this is, um, but my granddad used to have it on all his shoes and stuff. Um, then the, you've got the um, Velcro uh, elastic. Oh, you know what I mean. The only thing that I will say about these is that I tend to rock my feet or my ankles. If I do that with these, I will break my ankle in them. So I have to be very, very careful. But other than that, they are fantastic pair of shoes. I think I'd put them in my um, in my other uh, video that I'm just uploading, I think. Um, yeah, these are vegan as well because there's no, um, they're not real leather. I think they were about 18 quid off the ASOS, and that was 
um, in their sale. Uh, next are my favourites because I absolutely love them. Like I said, I wanted something that I could wear all like during the day, um, have some height, feel like I'm wearing platforms but without making my feet feel like they're wearing platforms. And I came up with these. These are also ASOS, also a little dirty. Sorry about that, I should really clean them, shouldn't I? Um, but yeah, so these are my, I call them my goth boots because they have got like a goth feeling to them uh, with the eyelets and the, the strap over there. Um, I don't, I think they're about an inch and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I really love these. These were 14 quid and they have, I've worn them a lot. Um, and I've worn them on a night out, I've worn them during the day, I've worn them to work, um, yeah, I've worn them quite a lot. And again, these are non-leather boots and they were £14. So the next ones that I've got, um, they were kind of on a whim. Wasn't really, 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 really looking to buy shoes, but I went into Tesco, saw them and went, ooh, they're nice. So then I bought them. So these ones I probably wouldn't wear very often, but they would be nice for, you know, like if I'm going out somewhere like a little dressy uppy and I don't really particularly want to wear heels. So these are them and they were only £3.50. As you can tell, still got the price on them. So I've not worn them there. So I don't know what they're like as in, um, uh, if they're going to hurt my feet or not. I presume they're not because... They are slightly padded inside, but that doesn't mean anything really. Um, so the, yeah, they've got the gold um, trimming, and they are totally, totally flat. And I just thought they were like pretty cute. I could wear them with like a little uh, pencil skirt or something like that. Um, yeah, so or a pair of like skinny jeans. So um, yeah, so those were three three pound fifty, and thought why not really. So. Uh, the next pair, these were kind of like, sorry, one second, I love my smile quite much for kids. I'm very superstitious, and as soon as I see a magpie, and I've got the wind, the curtains open, I have to say that. Anyway, um, yeah, these are kind of like on a whim. I wasn't too sure on them. I was a bit like, moo, but they're kind of cool. So yeah, I bought them anyway. And they were a fiver, so, so they're these super amazing... I don't know how to explain them, but I absolutely love them <laughs> for some reason. Again, the old style um, uh, English shoe. Um, they're very metallic, as you can see. Um, they aren't leather again, um, and the soles of their cheap shoes, they really are. And I'm probably going to wear these a couple of times, but I absolutely thought, I th I thought they were really, really cute. Um, and if they're not fashionable anymore, then, <laughs> well, I don't care. Um, okay, so. What should I do next? My bag. I did, I did put this bag in my other video as well, but I'll show you it in this one. This is my Red or Dead Vampire. I might use this bag tonight, actually. I'm going out tonight. Um, purse bag thing. Absolutely love this bag. It is amazeballs. Um, and I, my my other half bought it me. I still owe him money for that. Um, amongst other things, like I do. I think I owe him probably a cup of tea, piece of toast. Anyway, so the, yeah, this was Red or Dead. This was originally 25 quid, but he put it, the, the guy who owned the shop put it down to 15 for me, which was really super cute. Um, this isn't leather, again, it's PU. PU. Um, yeah, 100% PU outer. And then in a... Excuse me. Uh, inner lining um, is polyester and cotton, so that's what it looks like inside. So you've got the red or dead, I'm no bag sign, and then if I can, and then it's got that on the inside. So yeah, 
probably won't get much in this bag. Oh, I'll get my phone. I won't even get my wallet in there. So maybe that'll just end up being like a special occasion bag. I don't know. But I absolutely love it. I wanted it for uh, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Well, months, I think. And I every time I went to the town that the shop was based in, it was always shut. Because I only went there on Sundays. And one Sunday they were open. And I... Um, Got my bag. Okay, so as we're on bags and stuff like that, I keep going on them. So I do have another bag, um, which I bought last week because it was the last one, um, and I don't think they're bringing any more of these in. Um, and it's the Lush um, hair bag, and the reason why is because if you look at the back, can you see the hair? How trippy is that? It's cool, isn't it? So, um, I love the colour. I did want the bright green one. So, by the way, I'm, buying, I'm hoping to buy a green car. It's becoming a problem. <sighs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, I, abs I I love this bag. I do like Lush's um, uh, like shopping bags because they do last a very, very long time. I also have the um, Fighting Against Animal Cruelty one. And... As my manager calls it, it's like um, a potato bag. You can literally put your potatoes in there and the bag's still like, what? Give me more. I can do so much more. And it's got a hidden pocket on the um, inside. But instead of it being on the panel, it's in the, the actual... in the, This section. Um, and um, yeah, so you can put your phone and your keys and stuff. So if someone does put their hand in your bag... They're not going to find anything, so because that's not where they're going to look. Um, so yeah, uh, this one was $8.95, I think it is. Yeah, it's $8.95, and this bag um, has been crafted by Rewrap, a non-profit, uh, not-for-profit fit organisation and self-funded social enterprise. Rewrap are innovative and sustainable resources for... Rewrap, sorry, uh, innovative and sustainable resources for reusable textile products. Our products are made by disadvantaged communities in India to help them gain economic independence. The magic hair design used for this bag was designed by artist Ye Yehin Tong. And then his website. Um, yeah, they. we also do them, the... Um, some of the the wraps that you can get that I've got a few of them. Um, I use them for my hair. They are actually made out of bottles. Um, these bottles. So yeah. So yeah, I got that. Uh, right. This was given to me by my mum at Christmas, and I absolutely love my bag. This bag because it is, it is just goes everywhere with me, um, and it. It's very much my style. So it's my put in, put everything in and lose everything bag. So it's the same on either side, side and it's got the um, studs. I do love my studs, I do. And then the bag's um, handles. I like the fact that they've got buckles. I don't know why, it's just a little extra. I'm not going to show you in the bag because I have a lot of rubbish in there. But it also has... The leopard screen, screen, skin, um, inner lining. That's what I'm trying to think of. The next thing that I wanted to show you is again, it was a gift for Christmas, and this was a gift off my other half. I absolutely love Frankenstein, love him, love him, and I love his wife. So he bought me the. It is the band um, wallet. It's lasted me two months, and I know for some people, like two months should last you a lot longer purses and wallets don't last me very long because i kind of put them through the mill a little bit this does looks like i bought it yesterday um it's really fantastic it, i've i just shove things in here i'm not going to show you inside because i've got cards and money and stuff like that i have money i know <laughs> it doesn't happen very often um so so yeah it's got like an inner pocket here and then it's got the cards either side of the purse and then um, like card holders and then you can just put your money, your notes either side of that and there's pockets in this, 
these sections as well. So um, you've got like a little toggle on it as well. Stop. A ball and chain, get it? Ball and chain, and then a little skull, which is on a lot of band stuff. But yeah, I do really, really like this one. I'm also getting the purse hopefully soon with him, just him on it. I've seen it on Amazon for a tenner. I am waiting though because I have a car to buy for. Uh, buy for? Okay, so <coughs> the next thing I want to show you is clothes. I don't have many, I just have the two things. Um, I bought these off my boyfriend because he has a skate shop and I really like I like baseball t-shirts, they're comfy um, and they do the job. So the first one I got, I'll show you the one that I've got on, is, oh, there we go, is this one. Um, it's Fire Trap. Oops. I can't get up because I'm sitting on my bed. And it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. So yeah, let's see if I can... There we go. So this one is super, super, super comfy. And yeah, I love it. I wear it with my like wet look te uh, leggings. Uh, and they do the job. Uh, the next one is... I love this one. I love it. If you were following me on Instagram, you will have seen it already because I did put it on Instagram. And it's this one. So it's a little puppy with a hand in his, his mouth. I just thought that was super cute. And I know some people will be like, what? I find it cute. Well, not cute. Well, yeah, I guess cute because the dog's cute. But funny because obviously... All the different kinds of abuse that we talk, cause our animals, like not all of us, but you know, some of us cause animals, um, and and eating animals and stuff like that. So it's kind of its way of getting its back on its own, really, isn't it? Um, I have wanted to get a tattoo for quite a while, and I've seen it on someone else. Well, not on someone. It was like a sign, um, and it was of a bunny with a human foot. I thought that was clever. And I think I might end up doing that. But we'll see. Anyway, so this was another uh, t-shirt. I like the cut because it's like that. Uh, both of these t-shirts were 20 quid. I do get girlfriend discount because, you know, I have to put up with him. Um, and it's the least he can do. So, um, so yeah, so I got these ones quite cheap. Uh, right, okay. So I went to... Accessorize. That's what I want to pick up some orders that I'd made. They weren't there, but I picked myself up a few things. The first thing I picked up is one of those um, Unity scarves, I think they're called. Like the the wrap big round ones. And I can't sh show you really the whole thing. Oh yeah, I got there. We go. So that um, and they ha it has the the toggles and stuff on. It is so, so soft. It is made out of wool, I think, so it's not vegan, obviously. Oh. It's not. It's not made of wool. Huh, I thought it was made out of wool. How's that not made out of wool? It's got to be made out of wool. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't have paid full price for this if it wasn't made out of... I was gonna say baby hands. Well that's just weird. Yeah, welcome to my world. Um Well it says that it's a hundred percent acrylic. N uh use non um chlorine bleach only when needed, made in China. Um so yeah, this is not wool. This is smells like yognog, my perfume. Um, but yeah, this is made out of acrylic, so I guess, yeah, it's fine. It's very, very soft, considering it's acrylic, and you could make a pillow out of it. Um, but I do like this one. And that one was like 5 .50. It was a massive sale. I wouldn't have bought it for full price, to be fair. But yeah, 5 .50 for a nice scarf. And I have you made, got my use out of it, because I've worn it quite a lot. Uh, right, so the next thing. Right. <clears throat> what are vegans and vegetarians 
view on wearing faux fur. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I have no problem with it because it is faux fur, but some vegans and some vegetarians don't like it because it, I suppose, glorifies the fur industry. Um, I think you can tell um, with the kind of fur that I go for, like obviously it's kind of the, the, the cheap of like type of faux fur that you can get like I know you can get faux fur that looks spot on um, and my view on it a little bit is like well as long as it's not actually hurting the animal let's replace the actual fur with faux fur I don't know that's my view on it so I do buy a few bits of faux fur I don't buy real fur obviously I don't buy a lot of faux fur but because I don't know if it really suits me. But um, I buy it anyway. So the first thing that I bought is one of those, like, you know... <clears throat> right, what's it called? Accessorised. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've got a bit of a bug. I don't know what it is. And, um, yeah. If I talk too much. So... I don't know what they're called, but you know when you see like rich women on slopes, not that I've ever seen one, because I've only been skiing once. But you know when yeah, you study your typical, see the ladies on the slopes and you know that kind of thing. You know those bands they wear. <laughs> yeah, I got one of them. So this is faux fur. It's very soft, but it's clearly not fur. Um, just by the touch, it's it's very soft, but yeah. Which is fine, I'm happy with that. I would much prefer that than it to be real. They're very, very open and they say, We are not using faux fur. I got this for £4.50, I think, and it was originally 15 quid, so what a massive bargain. I don't know if it suits me. What do you think? Uh, this is how you wear it, right? Um, yeah, whenever I put it on. <laughs> I look like an elf. Um, whenever I put it on, whenever my hair's up, I it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't look good on me. But I'm hoping if I do it with my hair down, it'll look splendid. Yeah. Oh, I've messed up my hair now. Oh well. Um. So yeah. So that was the first thing that I got for fifty. Not a lot of money. Um. And then the last thing from accessories that is faux fur is this little guy <laughs> it's got ears it's got ears and little pom poms um this was seven pound fifty i can't i can kind of show you it but it won't fit properly that's probably going to be my um you know the 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 video thing <sighs> the image that you click on that's probably going to be it isn't it um, yeah, so this is, it's, I don't, I haven't worn it much, I'm just going to take that off because it's doing my head in. Um, I haven't worn it much. Oh well, look at that, beautifully done. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I haven't worn it at all actually. I've worn it briefly, but I do love it, it's so soft. Mm, it's so cute. So yeah, that is my stuff from Accessions. I'm going to show you the stuff I got from Lush. Because of course there's going to be something from Lush. Because I'm addicted to the black down place. And plus I work there. So the first thing uh, I wanted to show you. Is something that I've got already. But I just top needed to buy another one. Um, which is aroma water. This is a toner water. Absolutely love it. I use it every time I get out of the shower. Um, I've had that. I've had this one. For since April last year. And I'm still only up to there. Um, and I do only use it on my face. I've used it on my whole body a couple of times. But I just like to keep it just for my face. Um, this one's got lavender and rose water in. I get redness here. You probably can tell. And on my nose. This has helped to diet down the rose. Because of the rose absolute. And the lavender has helped to soothe any um, soreness or anything like that I get. Um, absolutely love this product. I pop it on before I put my moisturiser on and it makes my moisturiser go further. Bet you didn't know that. So um, I'm using Cosmetic Lad at the moment as a moisturiser because it's got an amazing smell and I love it. 
Um, it's very, very moisturising. So that's vegan. Uh, the next thing is my 9 to 5. I absolutely worship this because I wear a lot of makeup. I wear a lot of eyeshadow and it's incredibly pigmented most of the time. For me, normally to take that kind of makeup off, it takes ages to do so and I just I rub my skin raw because I I, I used to use like the weight the weeps the wipes or the water kind of based ones and I really didn't get on with well with them I found them drying especially the the uh, wipes not good so this is 95 this is a cleansing lotion but it is also a makeup remover um, this has got almond oil in there so I find it very moisturising once I've used it. I do top it up with moisturiser on my face after I've used this but that's just because I'm weird like that. If you didn't want to you didn't have to because it has got quite a moisturising element to it. Um, this has also got Dove Orchid and Ylang Ylang in and I will be doing another video on this just to show you how well it works because it is the bomb. So... Um, yeah, okay, so the next thing I want to show you is it's raining men. This, oh sorry, that's vegan. This isn't, this is vegetarian because it does have honey in it. Um, I absolutely love this shower gel. It has got such a cra ca caramel? <laughs> caramel smell. Absolutely love it. And it makes me feel and smell super for the rest of the day to the point where I want to lick myself. I'll now lick my arm. Um, yeah, it's lovely. I have to buy smaller bottles of this because it rations me. If I buy the bigger bottles, which I have done in the past, it um, it goes quite quick. And um, it's I kind of maybe just do this because I use this in my hair. I use it to, to wash my face. I would use it to wash my my body with. I use it when I'm using let the good times roll. Um, which is a cleanser. I pop a little bit of cleanser in my hand and then squirt this in there um, on top and it washes and cleanses and exfoliates my face at the same time because um, Let the Good Times Roll has got polenta in which is a really nice um, like soft exfoliation but quite fine at the same time. It's very awesome. Uh, very awesome it is. Yeah. Uh, and so that is Raining Men. The next thing is Two things from um, the the mummy or mother day range um, is uh, yummy mummy shower gel, which is this one, and then there's also yummy mummy body conditioner. These are superb. I use them in my hair. Well, this one in my hair, and this one um, just after or just before I get out of the shower because it's a conditioner. Um, so. It kind of cuts out having to condition or like moisturise after you get out of the shower. Um, this has got real strawberries in it. Um, it smells like you remember those strawberry laces that you used to. You can still get them like as you when you were a kid and you, did you like tie knots in them and stuff. That's what I did because I was cool. Um, and this, it smells very much like that. Uh, so it's got fair traded organic butter. Go like butter. <laughs> Coconut butter. Coconut butter is incredibly moisturising. If you are somebody who suffers with very dry or sensitive skin, or somebody who suffers with um, eczema, that kind of um, skin type, definitely check out um, Charity Pot or and or um, Dream Cream. They're incredibly moisturising and um, they're hand and body lotions. Um, and a lot of people with eczema tend to get a lot out of them and find that they they soothe their skin quite a lot. So, but the body conditioners can help as well. Um, so yeah, coconut butter is pretty much in a lot of our products. Um, and there's also uh, almond oil in this, murumuru butter, and there's fresh strawberry juice in that. So when you combine it with this, it, you smell beautiful for the whole damn day and if you use um strawberry without fe uh, strawberry feels forever strawberry without feels strawberry feels forever which is a massage bar which is got strawberries in there it smells amazing so there you go that's what it looks like inside not that you really need to see that Ooh. um this doesn't have strawberry extract in it which is strange 
and I kind of thought they would be um, lavender in it because of the colour, but there isn't. Um, this does have caracogen extract in it. Caracogen is a seaweed. Seaweed is really good for your hair and also very, very good for your skin. Um, so yeah. Um, I think, oh, I've got one more thing from Lush and I don't know where it's gone. Ah, there it is. So this is each uh, each peach and um, and two's a pair. I always say each peach, I don't say two's a pair. Um, I have used this, I absolutely, this is my favourite massage bar because it reminds me of lemon sherbet. I absolutely love it. Massage bars are very, very moisturising because they are solid um, cocoa butter and shea butter and everything in between and they are incredibly moisturising I absolutely love them you rub them in between your hands or you use the actual bar itself and you just rub it onto your skin like so <coughs> or if you're lucky enough you could have someone do it for you and then you'll find that your, uh, your um, skin is very very moisturised throughout the day and it smells like lemon sherbets. I might actually put those two together. The yummy yummy and the lemon sherbet strawberry lemon sherbet. Mmm. Scrumptious. So yeah, so that is it for Lush, I think. Yes, I think. Oh, I bought some rub rub rub, but we all know how much I love rub rub rub. The next thing that I bought is um, Brita filter, um, like a on the go type of one. It's obviously green because I'm a bit green happy. Um, this is awesome, really really nice. Bought it for tenner, um, and I also you also get if I can get it out. I have to move the camera. Sorry, it was underneath my camera. You also get four fr uh, fritter. You also get four filter discs, um, which look like like this. Uh, basically, what they do is they filter the chemicals or the chlorine and the um, all the crap out of your water. The first time I used it, I used it with bathroom water. Everybody knows in the UK or here anyway that. The water always upstairs tastes more chemically because it's been through more pipes. Um, so I tried it with the upstairs water and it tasted amazing. So um, yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with this. Like I said, it was £10 and you get the... Mm. Ah, you do get a straw in it, but I don't like using the straw, but I keep the straw in there because otherwise I'd lose it. Um... But yeah, love it. Um, it's made me drink more water as well because it's convenient. I've drank, well, no, I've I've had this for about a month now, month and a half. And in that time I would probably have spent about 20 quid on water in water bottles because I don't like topping them up. Um, I, well, the thing is, this is the thing I will, but it depends on the, the air, like the place. Like at home I will top them up. I'm not fussed about that, but like in certain places, I won't. So I'll buy bottled water. Um, I don't like carrying bottled water around because they always open up on me and ruin my iPods and phones and yeah, accident prone. So this is perfect for me and I absolutely love it. It goes everywhere with me. Um, and now I'm going to show you the gifts that I bought my friends. So, um, n as of next Tuesday, which you won't probably see this until Tuesday. No, after Tuesday probably. Because um, I'm showing you gifts that I want the recipients to see first. But um, yeah, as of Tuesday, I will no longer be working at Lush. Um... I'm very very sad about that um, because I do love the company and I do love I love the guys that I work with they're awesome um, and I love the, the values that Lush have and the products and yeah and the customers are really nice as well the ones that are bitches um, 
we don't get many of them to be honest um so yeah so i'm really 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 sad about it and but i'm also very excited oh i've got something else from lush i got some more foundation that's it sorry um, that's how my brain works. I go, <laughs> not good. Anyway, so yeah, um, as of Tuesday, I will no longer be, I will no longer be employed by Lush. I'm very, very sad. I really am. And I'm trying, I don't want to talk about it too much because I will cry because I love the guys that I work with. Um, but it's basically because I'm training to be a dental technician. Um, and I will be training with my other half's dad. Um, I am currently training and I'm going full time and um, I really enjoy it. It's, it means that I can be crafty and I and I don't mean like <laughs> I mean as in I, can, I'm, I, I do a lot of art and stuff like that. I used to, I don't as much anymore. I don't really have time for it. Um, so so yeah, this, this is a way of me being able to do my craftiness and and um, I work with a lot with wax and Bunsen burners and hot knives and what more could a girl want? You know, so um, I get covered in in wax and 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 uh, plaster and stuff like that. It's fun. I love it. It's fun. So yeah. So when you know, as they say, when one door closes, another one opens. Um, but I'm gonna miss my family, my lush family. I really am. Um, so as a little thank you and as a, um, well, yeah, no, as a thank you, really, as a thank you for everything that you've done. And, um, for me, the last year, uh, I bought them all little gifts, individual, like, gifts. I don't think I've got them all in there, but I got most of them. So, let's have a look. Because I, because I'm quite... When I buy gifts for people, I like it to be personal to them. So that's what I do. So the first thing that I bought for my buddy, um, one of my friends, is this bag. Now bear in mind they are they are they they're not super expensive presents. I bought them on sales and stuff like that. Please don't kill me if you see the video, guys, because spend loads of money on you. Um, so yeah, so there's this bag. She, Layla loves her bags, um, and yeah, so I thought I would get. She was always going on about how she liked my bags and she was jealous and stuff like that. And I was like, I know she likes bags. I'll get her a bag. So and this one, you can play your iPod on it because it has speakers in it. So, so yeah, so that's what I bought for one of my friends. I also bought her. Um, from accessories, some socks. They've all got socks. All the females have got socks, and the little sloths. The reason why I bought sloths for her, for her is because she takes so long to do everything. Like I'm like, dude, we gotta get going because we've gotta get going. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ten minutes later, she's still not ready. It's like, oh my god. So yeah, she's she is a sloth. She's a female sloth. Um, and she knows that I say this about her because I say this to her face. Um, so the next thing, I do have something else I want to show you because I got it for my dad, I have to show you. Oh, I think I do have everything. Um, so for the boys, my boys, um, I bought these gifts for them. Um, one of them... Well, they all have beards, um, and they love their beards, and they should do, because they should be very proud of them, because they're lovely. Um, I bought one of them a t-shirt, because he absolutely loves his beard. He's, he spends a lot of time pruning his beard and being like, oh, yells, yells, yells. He doesn't say yells, 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 but... Um, so, I got him a t-shirt. I'm not going to take it out, because... But it says, with a great beard comes great responsibility. And I thought he would find that rather funny um and then for my other colleague who has also got a beard who is vegan and i've learned a lot from him actually he's a very nice gentleman 
if I can get the bloody thing out. There we go. <laughs> That's it. Break it. I'm joking. I didn't. Um, so it says, respect the beard. It says it both sides. Hmm. I just thought it was funny. So, um, yeah. So I bought that for him. Uh -oh. There we go. I might keep it in the box so he doesn't know what it is. He might think I've bought him frozen products. Maybe fish. Because that's what fish come in, don't they? I think. Don't they? I don't know. <coughs> okay, one of my one of my colleagues is very much into his um like very he's he's fantastic with all the um ingredients and uh, he knows what most of the the um ingredients do like say for instance you say what does rosemary do he knows um he can pinpoint smells within our fragrances um he knows them fantastically and i've learned a lot from him from them <coughs> excuse me um, from him because of that um, he reads the books that we have um, and we have like little quizzes or did you know that this is in it and stuff or he'll say what does, what's in here or what does this smell like and yeah so um, like especially if we have something that smells like something else in store be like what does what else have we got in here that smells like this I'm like hmm and my Sherlock Holmesness comes in and like we totally rock the place. Um, so I got him this. It's um a year with James Wong and it's grow your own drugs. It's not about drugs and you can't dr grow drugs. Well, you can, but not legally unless you have a license. But this is going weird. But yeah, so it's not about drugs. It's about things like, um you know, like, let's see. Uh... So, woodworm and sage moth repellent sachets, um, honey and yogurt dry skin face mask, gardener's hand scrub, um, hazel, wi hazel witch aftershave gel and uh, shaving rash, um, fennel seed eye bath for conjunctivitis, uh, Roman chamomile and lavender acne steam. So, yeah, so there's a lot in there. Um, and it's like things like how to make something truffles I don't think they'll be vegan because they're probably oh there's honey in it oh no eucalyptus honey so um, let me see I think actually that they are vegan yeah they are um, so yeah so there's loads in, in here and I think he would get a real big buzz out of this book I think he would really appreciate that so I got that him um, right, okay, so I got these earmuffs for my colleague, um, because she saw a lady come in, she, she loves ladybirds, and she saw my colleague come in with them on, uh, sorry, she saw a lady come into the shop with them on, she thought they were earmuffs, but they're not, they're, well, they are, but they're earmuffs, and you can listen to your music as well. So I bought them for her, um, I thought, I thought they were quite cute. Um, right. I also bought her socks, but I don't know which socks I'm going to give her. Probably going to be the dog ones, because she has a dog called Hagrid. How awesome is that? So, I think they're like English bull terriers. You'll probably appreciate that. Um, and then I got these for my other colleagues. And I also got them a little bit So I got these earrings. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah. These earrings, sorry about my nails, they're a little dirty. I cleaned them this morning. I cleaned them like half an hour ago. How are they dirty already? Right, so she's a photographer as well. So I thought she would like those earrings. And I also got her little, I think they're bare socks. I thought she would like them. Um, and then I got another colleague these earrings. Because she likes wearing really cool earrings and necklaces and hats and stuff. So I thought she would like the rainbow ones. Um, and then I bought her Panda! 
because I think she likes pandas. I think she does. I'm sure she does. So yeah, panda socks. So we've got them for her. Um, I do have something else for someone, but unfortunately it hasn't come through the post yet. Um, I misjudged how long it took for it for me to get them. Um, so I'm still waiting for that. I'm hoping they get it before we actually um, uh, I actually meet them all to give them their gifts on Tuesday. No, Monday. Monday. Oh, Monday. Hopefully I will get that by Monday. Please. I'm just taking the price off because if she watches my video, she's going to know how much I've, I've paid for it. So, da -da. so okay. So this is the last thing for my for my manager, and it's this necklace. She likes cool necklaces, so I thought she would appreciate this. It's got some diamantes on. It's a bit Egyptian type of Aztec type of feel to it. I thought she would rock that. Um, and to go with it, there's another pair of socks for my colleague. They're from Amazon. They're like not Amazon um, accessories. They're like super cheap at the moment. But they're really expensive at the same time. <laughs> they're not gonna care. Where's the oh there? So I got her as well as that necklace, a accessory scarf. It's just a simple, nice one for the summer. And then little doggies. How cute are they? So yeah, I got that's what I got for my family. My little lush family. But I'm gonna miss greatly. So yeah, so I got them all these gifts. Um to say thank you more than anything for making the last year of my life fun and joyful. So so yeah, that is it for that, because this is going to be an hour video, and who wants to watch an hour video, guys? Me, not really. Anyway, so I'm going to go now, because I've got to go and feed a load of animals. Woohoo! So I hope you have a fantastic weekend, because it's Friday, Friday, eggs and custard, Friday. Oh, no, not another one. Hello, Miss Bagwire, I should forget. 